Good morning from Bob's Barn Workshop here. We are ready to reinstall. Everything is clean. Everything is uh, ready to go back together, thank goodness. So we're going to go under the car today. First thing we got to do is put that differential back up into the housing with a new gasket sealant and uh, rinse that back on, which is that's the heavy part. I think I'm going to put the gasket on the housing and then the seal around the outside of the gasket so I don't have sealant on the pumpkin as I'm trying to raise it up there and get it ripped off. And then when it slides over the studs, the studs will protect me from bumping into it and getting it misaligned until I get it in position. If you put a few nuts on it and uh, we should be good to go. So uh, without further ado, I do? Sure I do. Try to get you set up here where you can kind of see what I'm doing. I'd like to kind of see what I'm doing. I got two separate cups with my different nuts and bolts in it, so I know which ones go to the pumpkin. And uh, I gotta find my sealant. What do I do with my sealant? Right there. Okay, good. I'm using Permatex Ultra Black, as recommended by someone who knows better than I. Much better than I. And I don't want to overdo it. I'm just going to get that hooked right there. Oh, that's a nice place. Okay. I'm I'm fogging this up already. And I'm going to have to smear this out with my finger. <sighs> I don't want to get a bunch inside. It doesn't need a ton. <sighs> I'm going to have to crawl out of here and get my gasket though. That sucks. Just an eighth inch bead. That's all I'm doing. And just a little around. Of course, the bottom is the touchy part. Anyway, that's where the oil lays. So I'm going to go around each nut, each stud down here. Tag time on this is. I just gotta do a good job sealing this edge up. Ah, oh, glasses are fogging already. I don't help to be blind. all over again when I get the gasket pressed in place. Uh. I cleaned this all up really good yesterday with lacquer thinner. So I know she's Got good sealing on it. Oh, we're gonna be clean, I mean. Because oh. that stuff will squish out real thin when I start reefing that on there. Alright, there's one layer. There's my gasket. Oh, I forgot the gasket. I'll be back. 
All right, we are back. I got my gasket. All right. I got a wonderful kit to do this rear end and it was a huge savings. I got it on eBay for $474, which included the Power Tracks differential. The install kit by Motive Gear and a set of Richmond gears for this. Richmond's are the top of the line. So I checked the price on the uh, Paws Attraction unit alone, and the cheapest I could find was $489. So it was $15 below just the cost of the traction unit by power tracks so I don't know if somebody had overstock or what the heck the problem was but whatever their problem was benefited me all right here we go on the top I was going to put a magnet in this but I had the magnet but do you think I could find it today of course not <sighs> Oh, this should be enough sealant to do all my gaskets today. <sighs> I'm so excited about this. I've been wanting to do this pause attraction rear end for 20 freaking years. My son-in-law keeps saying, just do it. Let's do it. So, I finally did it. He's a motorhead kind of guy. Gearhead, whatever they call him. A little blob in there. A little around the back. It's always fun to work upside down, ain't it? Uh. <sighs> yeah, that'll be real nice when I get that drawn in. Uh, I hate that I can't see my, what I'm doing here. There we go. I think much better, but it's a little better. All done with the muscling now. I believe. Alright. I got this some bitch, as Boss Hog would say. Sorry I'm gonna lose a little light here, but that guy right there. I'm gonna spill all my nuts here. My glasses to defog. Dirt. I'll be wiped them. Where's my switch? It's the filthy one I've been wearing all week. Oh no! It's only walking real, but I like it. I like it. Yes, I do. 
this is so this is the end what's the best way I'm gonna put that over here all right just muscles this is what I need oh my god it's so heavy oh. I gotta get the wife to jack this up I'll be back Alright, I'm just waiting for my lovely helper to come out. I need you to get behind the car, dear. There's a jack handle sticking out there. I need you to help me pump this thing up into position. Push it a little farther. And start jacking. It's just so dang heavy, I can't lift it. Very heavy. I'm just a wussy. You gotta push it far, farther in. Okay, go ahead. Up. It crawls backwards is what happens. Jack it up. Jack, put the jack up. Keep jacking. I can't see why it won't go in there. Hold on. I should go right on those studs. Why oh, want to go on the studs? Because I gotta get it just perfect. Can't get it. Jacket. Right there. I gotta get done before the sealant sets. Okay, hold on. Alright, now to undo the jack, you gotta turn the handle backwards. Real hard with both hands. Okay, now jack it. Don't let it off. Now jack it back up. What the hell? It looks like it wants to. There's nothing blocking it because there's nothing inside. Uh, what the hell? Uh, not my fault. Uh, could you get a block of wood? There should be a block of 4x4 four four there, about a foot long. I'll go up a little bit. No, that's not going to fall out. Hold on, don't jack up anymore. I can't see what I'm doing. Down just a little bit, just crack it. You gotta do it with both hands. And as soon as it starts to drop, tighten it again. Okay, it's tighten it, tighten it, tighten it. Bring the jack back here. Jack her up. Alright, the jack's a lot of whack. You gotta slide it over. Right now, hold it right there. My damn glasses are fogging up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, why? It should fall right on them studs just like a champ. Uh, 
wood is going to fall. I know, I know. It ain't going to fall because the weight thing's sitting on it. Uh. Can you wipe these off? Thought this was going to be a two second job, not all this shit. Okay, you can back out. Drop the jack. I had to just get. That's all right. No worries. Thank you, dear. You're done. I got one nut on the top, so we're good to go. Man, that was fun, wasn't it, kids? My huge joint fell apart, but it's right here. I gotta put all these nuts on. Uh, I'm sure they'll go by on a lot better than they came off. I got ten of them here. Unfortunately, I can't get the zippy tool on all of them. Uh, I'm gonna give it a try. <laughs> I call it my zippy tool, you know what I mean. Uh, that's why I put the sealant on the gasket instead of on the pumpkin because I would have rubbed it all off on the studs trying to get that painting butt in there. on these, but I'm calling them tight. That would be my nice torque specs. Oh. Are you ready for some positive direction? tools out up here. Of course, I put them too far ahead. Let's see if I can find what I want. Of course, the thing that I want is the farthest away. Again, I gotta find the side. Right, back at it again. Get you somewhere close. You can't tell. It is what it is for right now. Okay, so I got the right socket this time. up right now. Oh yeah, that's just about the right
right all the top ones I'm gonna have to run in by hand. Where's my socket go? There it is. First time I ever saw that fall off. I'm gonna have to walk around the edge. Oh, I got most of them pretty well snapped up though. Oh, let's see if I can get this thing to work. I've got a universal swivel joint. Ah, that was a stupid thing to do. Get myself in the face with that thing. I don't hit the trigger. It's like playing with a loaded gun, yeah? Carnival in here, ain't it? What the frig? Everything started, so I guess it's just time to ratchet. Ratchet. I'm gonna put a short extension on this wrench. Hopefully, that'll help me move. I bought a bunch of stuff from Sears back when they were closing their local store. Just gonna do a staggered pattern here, like a bolt, like a car wheel. Probably a little sealing on them too, which will help kind of be like Loctite. I don't think they're going to vibrate off. I like to push in on my socket wrench with my hand if I can. Get that. Nice and tight. 
The only thing left down here is I need to put the U joint back together. Look at that. Ain't that big. That was where I started. Okay, buddy. Those are tight. Somewhere here. Whew. I got my yuck cup from my universal joint. I'm gonna need to see this pretty good. Turn them just like that, because that's the way it had to come out. Oh, I wish my glasses would be fogged up. That would be really convenient. Yeah, there's a couple little bumps in there that retain those cups. And you gotta get it inside of that. I guess. If it don't, you're in trouble. Oh, these are handy, aren't they? I need something to tap that in with. I don't want to be too aggressive. I don't know why it will pop. I'm just going to give it a little kinetic energy here. I got to make sure that that's going to... Look that glove. It's all right. See, that one's twisted, that's why it's not going in there straight. And now it's jammed. This is going to go almost perfectly straight. sides. All right. Now both sides of the U-joint are in there. i to find my U-joint bolts, which are right here. <sighs> Complete with lock nuts. Well, lock washers, I should say. I clean these all in solvent, so these are all cleaned up. The threads are clean to make sure that they will not bind in any way. My friend said he put one of these together one time and didn't get the U-joint down on that little notch so it was flat and he said the car shook like a paint shaker. I can believe it. This needs some grease put to her so I can, when I come back under here to put the oil in the pumpkin, I'll bring my grease gun. I don't know if this has ever been greased. What is something else in that? Well, guys, this is all the hard work for today. The, uh, next job will be putting those backing plates and axles back in. As I said, this kind of started out as two projects, but I ended up calling it, it kind of came together at the end here because it all has to go together. You know, my garbage man's here. Sounds like he's having a, quite a conversation on his phone there. You can probably hear them. I gotta stick a screw. 
screwdriver and we have to keep that from rotating. Or something. There you go. That's actually my parking brake tool. Aaron, they call the emergency brake. Of course, in a, I guess you could really use it as an emergency brake. I think you'd be hard pressed to, other than. He has his ear headset microphone onto his, his cell phone. He's always yammering away when he stops every time. I don't care as long as he takes my garbage. Race Management, I guess it's the company. This is just a little quarter inch wrench, but I think it's enough. That's what I used to take it off with. These are five sixteenths saddle bolts. Okay, folks, I'm gonna get out of here for a second. I'm gonna have to come back and put the oil in and oil this. Put some grease to her. And I'll be done under here. Put those end axles in. So, break time. <laughs>